Each one of us is unique in our own way. It makes us who we are. And despite our differences, we are all the same. Hi, my name is Quinn. My dad calls me Smiles. Quinn Zonizer is your typical 12-year-old. He loves playing soccer, hanging out with friends, and playing video games. I kind of get that silly all the time, and I'm kind of athletic, and yeah. He's also a published author. The book is called Smiles, and it tells Quinn's story of what he's experienced after being born with a cleft lip and palate. It's a book with a purpose and a message we can all learn from. I was born with a severe unilateral cleft lip and palate. At nine years old, days after having a bone graft surgery on his mouth, he started writing. When I was eight, I asked the doctor, when are you going to fix my nose again? It's crooked. What he had spent nine years living with came out that day on paper, eventually turning into a 28-page children's book with pictures. Uh, I really like it because it like tells everybody like what cleft is and it like explains everything about it. As we um, progressed through it, he wanted to help uh, his friends and his family understand kind of the, the journey he went through. A journey full of surgeries, speech therapy, and the cruel words out of the mouths of his peers. Um, I got bullied a lot, so uh, I didn't really feel good. So, um, and then uh, I got to write this book, so that was pretty exciting. The book's message. Everybody's the same. Felt by a parent. Uh, <laughs> this is where I cry. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe best put into yeah. words by Quinn himself. Even though we look different, we should all be treated the same. A yeah, good message. The family believes they've sold close to 200 books so far in the first couple of weeks. Quinn says with every book he sells, he'll donate a book to a child born with a cleft lip. If you'd like to check it out, just head to their website. It's notchabove.org.